So here I am on Fort Churchill Road, which I have found is not the road that necessarily leads to Fort Churchill. Recording. All right. So sun is going down. I think I got or have about eight more miles of this really nicely groomed only slightly washboardy um, gravel road left. So my adventure to find Fort Churchill was a failure. I'm sure that if I could have kept on going through the quasi-military installation that was gated, I would have eventually wound up at Fort Churchill. However, not being part of that lifestyle anymore, I didn't have access, nor did I try. So I'm going to maybe trust my phone more than my BMW Garmin navigator. Now I took off curvy roads because that curvy road feature on the navigator, <laughs> depending on where you're at, it could be a pain in the ass because it just takes you in circles to give you curvy roads. And so, I mean, it could it could make uh, a trip to the supermarket that's 10 miles away a, a 45 minute trip. Just take it, and it's not necessarily that exciting. I did get to see some neighborhoods that are real close to me that I never even knew existed uh, on Curvy Mode Road when I was trying to go to California uh, over to Yosemite and Ebbets Pass and Sonora and stuff like that. Um, and I, I couldn't figure out what the hell it was doing taking me all these weird ways and it was in Curvy Road Mode. And uh, I also did not have a void because it's a BMW GS, of course, avoid off-road on this, nor on that one. And it took me through some pretty hairy fire breaks that uh, I'm surprised I made it unscathed. The bike was relatively unscathed um, as well. So careful what you wish for. Sometimes it's easier to leave it on fastest and then uh, make waypoints to something, I think. Um, the other thing I, ha I didn't do is I could have, but you know, it's just another thing to get ready for the trip is uh, hook my Garmin nav uh, up to the computer and program it from there. And uh, I've done it. I probably should update it or check to see if it needs updates. You just never know. But um, just another thing. I was, you know, updating my GoPro because I forgot one of the passwords to the Wi-Fi and my old GoPro Three Hero or whatever it's called. And I couldn't figure out how to get back into it, and so I had to go through like an erase reset procedure and then set it back up and then update the software and then my other so GoPro had that software needed to be updated and there was just you know so many little things that you don't think about when you want to just get out and go riding <coughs> and that is why I'm really liking this uh, Cena. I was corrected the other day, I was saying Senna. The Cena headset, uh, the 10C Pro, is that, like I was saying earlier, it's always on there. I, you know, my GoPro, I spent all night charging batteries and syncing them so I could uh, start them and stop them from my phone in my little tank bag. and. Um, You know, and then trying to get the phone to start start them up and 
you compare to one, then you compare to the other, and really you can only control one. Um, rapidly, I guess. You can control both, but you know, you gotta start one rolling and then stop, or you have two phones or whatever, but um, I haven't figured out how to like sync them so they both turn on, both turn off with the press of a button. I'm sure there's some fancy way to do it, but it'd probably take me hours of research online to figure it out, and then I'd have to buy something. But, uh, you know, my camera's in my, I got some, I got some good photos. My camera, in my tank bag, um, my actual point, point and shoot camera, or, you know, semi-professional camera is in my tank bag, and I, took some photos and videos and I think I even taped video some of it on the center but uh well the sun is going down but that's that's why I'm liking this thing because it's just there you know when you need it it's on there if you don't need it just listen to music or talk on the cell phone etc so sunset. I'm going to make some phone calls as soon as I get closer to civilization where I could get cell phone service. I think it's actually not too far up here. Picture that. So, yeah, well, there we go. That is the end of the dirt portion to my, <coughs> excuse me, to my failed attempts to get to Fort Churchill. I'll be stopping once I hit the hard ball to put on uh, the warming layer. It's 38 now, but now that I'm going, slightly over dirt speed I can I can feel it so thanks for tuning in and so it's been a good ride um, sometimes sometimes those are the best adventures is just getting lost trying to find something until next time